Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HKTV Monster Jam League, and welcome to Stop One here on Stadium Tour Blue. Here's our lineup for the day, starting with Derek Collar and Avenger, going down to b Ride the Game Guy and Bad Company, Jackson Mazaros and Dragon, Izzy Martinez and Grave Digger, Alex M and Lucas Stabilizer, Prawn Daddy and Megalodon, Nick Worthman and Son of a Digger, and rounding out the lineup, Jaden McClam and Thunder Roars. We have a great lineup ahead of us today here in Anaheim. We're very excited to start Stop 1. If you were with us last time for Stop 1 on Tour Red, you know how incredible that show was. This one should be nothing but the same. Here is how the bracket will line up for racing today. In round one, we'll have Bad Company taking on Thunder Roars, Son of a Digger taking on Dragon, Grave Digger taking on Megalodon, Lucas Oil Stabilizer taking on Avenger, and it should be an incredible racing competition here in Anaheim. And now for our first race of round one, it'll be Bad Company taking on Thunder Roars, Jaden McClam, and B-Ride the Game Guy. Let's see who'll come out on top. B-Ride the Game Guy, he's new to the circuit, a new driver trying to find his way. Jade McClam, he's got six years of competition experience and he's ready to go today. Here they go, pulling up to the starting line. And off they go, round one of the racing is underway. An early lead into the corner for Thunder Royce. Big lead going over the jump, going around to turn number two. Thunder Royce with a perfect turn, a little bit over on its edge coming off, but no problem. Perfect turn going into the final corner. Bad company lagging behind. It's gonna be all Thunder Roris taking race number one. As we move on to race number two, we'll have Son of a Digger taking on Dragon. In Son of a Digger is Nick Worthman. In Dragon is Jackson Mazaros. Both very skilled drivers. This should prove to be an incredible race. Both drivers pull up to the line and off they go. A good start for Son of a Digger. Definitely got the jump on Dragon. Great corner coming out of turn one. A huge lead for Son of a Digger so far. He got big air off the jump. Able to bring it back down, keep it under control. Dragon making up a little bit of ground here. Going into the final corner though, it is all Son of a Digger. He's just got to hold on and he will to take the victory. Race number two in round one goes to Son of a Digger. Incredible corner, stayed on the gas the whole time, never lost it. And now we move on to race number three. We got Prawn Daddy in Megalodon. And we got Easy Martinez in Grave Digger. So Megalodon being a CRC, some would say it is a disadvantage in racing. And we will see here as he takes on Grave Digger, Dead even come out of the first corner, but Grave Digger takes a little bit of a lead. Smooth transition over the jump for Digger too. That speed is kept up perfectly, but Megalodon making up a little bit of ground. Into the final corner, Grave Digger slows down a bit, but an incredible turn. Oh, and Megalodon gets up and sideways, and it's gonna be a victory for Izzy Martinez and Grave Digger. A close race there, all told. Honestly, at the beginning, it looked like Gravedigger had him and was getting off to an incredible lead. But it evened back up at the end, and now we have Alex M and Lucas Oil Stabilizer and Derek Collar and an Avenger. Both drivers pull up to the line. Will they continue the incredible night of racing we've seen so far? Off they go. Dead even to the first corner. Oh, Stabilizer gets a, oh, gets a little bit of trouble. Avenger has a slight lead coming out of the second corner. Extends it into a much bigger lead now going into the final turn. Stabilizer able to close the gap a bit, but it's all Avenger for the finish. On we go now to round number two of racing. Son of a Digger taking on Thunder Roars. Off they go. Great jump for both trucks into the first corner. 
smooth for both drivers. A slight edge for Son of a Digger. Huge air coming off that, just like in round one. Both drivers take that second corner incredibly well. Heading into the final turn, it's pretty even. Going into the finish, it's all Son of a Digger. A slight win. Oh, look out! A crazy finish to this one. Over goes Son of a Digger. And not able to bring it out into a save. Hopefully the truck's all right to move on to the next round. An incredible race with an even more insane finish. And that's what we like to see. On we go to the next one. Gravedigger and Avenger pulling up to the line. A slight advantage off the jump for Gravedigger. Let's see if Avenger can make up for it. Smooth corner here for Gravedigger. He's got the lead going over the jump. Coming into the second turn, a huge lead for Digger. He's just got to hold on to it. Avenger, though, with a great corner to even it up going into the final turn. A slight advantage for Digger, though. Oh, gets up on the turn box a little bit, but still pulls out the lead and the victory. Grave Digger will be your winner here in the second round of the semifinals. Two incredible races there in the semifinals, and let's hope this final race will be just as good. It'll be Nick Worthman and Son of a Digger. He's had a great racing night so far, fast all night, but the same can be said about Izzy Martinez and Grave Digger. This should prove to be an incredibly exciting race. Both drivers pull up to the line. Off they go. Looked like a slight advantage off the jump for Son of a Digger, but both trucks pretty dead even coming out of the corner. Dead even going over the jump. Into the second turn now, and this thing is neck and neck by the looks of it. Into the final turn. All it takes is one slight mistake. And it looks like, oh my goodness, what a close finish. I got to wait for the times to come in. Another wild landing for Son of a Digger. Two rounds in a row over on his lid. And it looks like Son of a Digger is your winner. Wow, look at those times. A 22.57 for Son of a Digger, a 22.62 for Grave Digger. It doesn't get much closer than that, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible final race here in Anaheim and a great way to start off the show. You got to give it to Nick Worthman. He was fast all night. Nobody was touching him. The kind of air he was getting off that jump. I thought it would get him in some trouble. But it turns out to be what leads him to victory. And here's how our point standings will stack up at the end of our first event. Going down with eight points to our winner, Son of a Digger. Seven for Grave Digger. Six for Avenger. Five for Thunder Roris. Four for Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Three for Megalodon. Two for Dragon. And one for Bad Company. I have a fist, Charlie. You are a child. You should not be in the army. You said you're in his asshole now? Oh, is that you, Chris? It's me in the water, Charlie. Hi! A volcano is not a pyramid. Stop it. Volcano is a pyramid. No, it's not. Can you be serious? Come on, come on. Oh, every time, every time we come out here, you always get some bullshit. Still keep it G. New beginnings, my serenity. Dr. Evil on these mini me's. I got major mojo from the sea of cheat. High yellow rise, no deity. They gon' need a boss of weed, creatine, and holy water to compare to me. What the fuck you mean, let it be? Take control of your destiny. Now we move on to our second event of the night, two wheel skills. First out will be b the Game Guy in Bad Company. A brand new driver to the competitive
show every time he is on the track and let's see if that keeps going here today it is his hktv debut so he definitely wants to make an impression as he goes into the bicycle here as we go to the onboard in the top of your screen you see just how difficult and how much skill this takes to pull off and he is walking this thing around the entire track pops it up now into a moonwalk bicycle to moonwalk up over the ramp and brings it back down nice and steady a great first hit there for prawn daddy and megalodon now can he be just as exciting with this second hit if he can the judges will love it and he should end up with a great score looks like he's going in for another bicycle brings it on the sidewalls spins it around for a sidewall don't it all over the truck goes Brings it back on all four BKT tires, and that is going to give him a 9.134 and the first place position. An incredible run there for Prawn Daddy and Megalodon. It's going to be hard to beat, and let's see if Alex Marin in Lucas Oil Stabilizer can beat that score. Setting up for his first hit here. Going for the bicycle. We've seen a lot of bicycle attempts so far. Oh my, pops it up. Not what he wanted there though. Unable to get the truck to pop up for the moonwalk. I have to imagine that's what he was going for. Luckily he didn't roll the truck over though, so he's got a chance at a second hit here. But it's got to hurt his scores going forward. And another bicycle attempt. This one he's able to walk out for a nice distance. Pop it up into the moonwalk. There we go. Oh, and look at the skill here. Pops it up on one tire, keeps it going. Oh, look out. Over he goes, and he hits the wall. After not getting exactly what he wanted on his first hit, but an exciting second hit, it'll be an 8.417 for Lucas Oil Stabilizer. A respective score as we move on to our next truck. And let's see if Jaden McClam here can come out and take that lead spot from Megalodon. Making his way around the track, getting a nice look at everything, thinking about what he wants to do first. You have to think we've seen a lot of bicycles so far, well, so let's see if he shies away from it and goes for something different. And it's looking like, at least for the first hit, he's going to. And look at this. Pops it up into a stoppy, walks it forward. Oh look at the oh look at the control he's got on this truck. Walks it back now into a moonwalk. Brings it down and keeps it up and going. Wow, look at this. Back down on all four tires. What an incredible first hit for Thunder Roris. Now for a second hit into the bicycle. Oh, over on the sidewalls now. Oh, look out. Into a wheelie. Very short, but very exciting, and that'll get an 8.794 for Thunder Roris. Not good enough for first, but it will get him a nice, secure second place position. Definitely a solid outing there. On to our next competitor, Derek Collar in Avenger. We've seen some strong runs so far. He definitely saw what Megalodon threw down, and he knows he has to pull off something crazy to beat it. And here he goes, pops the truck up into the nose wheelie walks it back now to the moonwalk up the ramp keeps it going oh and brings it down on all four you have to think he wanted to keep that going and combo it a little bit unfortunately not able to get the truck to pop the way he wanted to Let's see if on this second hit he can make something happen Avenger giving it some gas now. Huge sky wheelie here. Oh, but brings it back down. You have to think maybe he wanted to pop it into a wheelie after that. Not able to get it, but a solid score of 8.234 there for Avenger. Good enough for third place, but not good enough to get close to that lead after a great run by Megalodon. Now we have Izzy Martinez in Gravedigger. Once again, you have to wonder what these drivers are thinking right now. The bicycles have been scoring high, 
and performed, but we've seen a lot of them tonight. So what is Izzy thinking? Is he going to come out here and do another bicycle? And it looks like, yes, he is. With some nice distance on it, too. Brings it over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, back on one tire. On the sidewalls. Can he save it? Oh, my goodness. Nice precision and control there to not just gas it while it was on the sidewalls and slowly bring the truck back down. That was an exciting move for the first hit there for Izzy. And let's see what Gravedigger has next for us. Walks it forward, pops the truck up, and back into a moonwalk. Up all the way over the step up on the other side. Gets a little bouncy there at the end. And keeps it going on one wheel and brings it down on all four. And an 8.983 for Izzy Martinez and Gravedigger. Not enough again to take the lead, but good enough to take the second place spot. That leaves just Nick Worthman and Son of a Digger to try to knock off our current leader, Prawn Daddy and Megalodon. It will be difficult. But with the kind of night that Son of a Digger has had so far, you got to think it's possible. Oh, look at this. Pops it up into a nose wheelie. Oh, tries to walk it back into a moonwalk. Oh, look at this. Look at the control by Nick Worthman. Wow, brings it back for a moonwalk after all that. Still going on the front tires. Pops it on the rear wheels into a wheelie. And keeps it going. This is insane. By far the best combo we've seen all night. Puts the truck back down safely. You love to see it. That was insane. If he can have another great move on the second hit, he might just take the lead. Walks it out on the bicycle. Oh, and sets it down a little bit earlier than you think he would have wanted. And it reflects on the scoreboard. An 8.744. Still an incredible run there for Son of a Digger. And here we will see the results from the two wheel skills competition. Our winner, Megalodon, with a 9.134, followed by Gravedigger with an 8.983, Thunder Roars with an 8.794, Son of a Digger with an 8.744, Lucas Oil Stabilizer with an 8.417, Avenger with an 8.234, Dragon with a 7.780, and Bad Company with a 7.532. And here is how the points will stack up so far. In first place is Gravedigger with 14, followed by Son of a Digger with 13, Thunder Roars with 11, Megalodon also with 11, Avenger with 9, Stabilizer with 8, Dragon with 4, and Bad Company with 2. Coming out first is Derek Collar in Avenger. He's a nice so far, but definitely wants a better outcome here in freestyle wants to climb those points standing right in the middle right now starting off his run with some solid air over the racing lane That's definitely how you want to start it off Go up over the pod here with some nice air brings him to a slight slap wheelie now into a nice bicycle and keeps it going good combo there from Avenger Derek Collard now with some huge air to keep it going Avenger with a solid run so far See if he can give us any of those wow moments we always look for. Oh, over into the step up now. Slight little slap wheelie coming off. I talked about it last time on Stadium Tour Red. It's all about momentum. And if you can keep it up. And so far, Avengers momentum has been incredible. It's just move after move, hit after hit. Over the pod now, keeping it going. Off the other side of the racing lane. And he's getting some nice air off of it. Everything he hits, he's hitting it full go, not letting off the throttle. And it's working out great for him. Off the other way, the racing lane now. Huge air. That might be the biggest air he's gotten so far in his run. That was insane. 50 seconds still left. And he's going to have to switch it up a little bit now. Oh, wild landing there coming off the pod. In, oh, look out. Pops it up into a stoppy in reverse. Pulls it down back over the racing lane. An exciting run so far for Avenger. Oh, and look at this huge air. Going to double it up. Oh, chooses to go nice and steady there. Not go too hard, get the truck going sideways. Now he's going for the backflip. 
hard landing on the rear end, but pops it up into a moonwalk. He's got 12 seconds remaining, and so far he's got himself an incredible run. Over the backside of the racing lane now, five seconds remaining for Avenger. And it looks like he's gonna throw it into some donuts to end his time. An incredible run to start out our freestyle competition here today. And an 8.643, a strong score for our first truck of the night. And let's see if the drivers following up are able to beat it. Next up, we have Jackson Mazaros and Dragon. Watching Avenger come out for that first run of the night here in freestyle and putting on such an incredible performance. Dragon has to be wondering what they can do to follow that up. And starts it out there with a wild takeoff from the racing lane. Keeps the speed up over the pod now. Into a nice slap wheelie. And brings it back down. A solid start so far for Dragon. Let's see if he can keep it going. Oh, look out here. A nice little cross thread. Keeps it going to cobble it up on the other side. And brings it down so far. Good momentum from Dragon. I always talk about momentum. And look at this. Another bit of a cross thread there. A wild takeoff. That's the most square he's hit any obstacle tonight right there. And another cross thread. That looks like that is... is it looks like that is his strategy. And oh, look out on the front end and brings it down. That was incredible. What a save there from Dragon to keep this run going. Jackson Mazzaro so far is burning it down. I was going to say, nice air there. Jackson, oh, pops up the rear end as well. I was going to say, it looks like his strategy right now is just to go for these cross threads, go for these wild takeoffs and hope for the best. It does give us those wow moments we look for. And some more solid air there from him. And doubles it up. Look out. That could have been dangerous, but some nice control to bring it back down. And it looks like he's going for the back flip now with 41 seconds on the clock. Hits the rear end hard, but brings it back down to complete the back flip and keep the run going. Over the step up now with some big air. Definitely the biggest air of his run so far. And brings it back with some nice air going the other way. 22 seconds remaining over the pod now and he's really kept the momentum up this whole run it should reflect well for him on the scoreboard we haven't had too many moments but we've had huge air like that throughout the run eight seconds remaining can he get one more hit in before time expires and it looks like he will and there he goes huge air to finish out his run into a slap wheelie over the pod into a stoppy and settles the truck down on all four tires what a run for Dragon, but a score of 8.521. Not good enough to give him the lead. I said it was going to be hard to come out and beat Avenger. And so far, our second truck is not able to do so. On to our next truck, Alex Marin and Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Hasn't had the night they wanted so far. Currently, eight points. He wants to add some more to that total. And here he goes to start out his freestyle. It's going to be all about the momentum today as he brings it over to the step up. Nice takeoff, nice landing, nice and smooth. Not crazy air or anything, but a smooth transition to get him into his next hit. And there's the big air. Didn't wait long. Slaps it up into a bit of a slap wheelie at the end. Settles the tr truck back down. Now going over the pod. Nice run so far, 90 seconds remaining off the backside of the racing lane. You're not gonna get much air off of that, but you can get some good distance and it can work well for some combos. Not a high risk move. Huge air there coming off the other side into a slap wheelie and walks it out, brings it back down. Exciting run so far for Lucas Oil Stabilizer. 70 seconds remaining, what can he do? Huge air is what he can do. And that's what he's given us. Definitely want to see a, a bit more combos here. He really hasn't had many, but a lot of big air, a little bit of a loss of momentum, and more huge air. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, the momentum hasn't been it. The momentum has not been there, but the big air has, as he's showing us here with a nice cross thread, wild landing, able to settle the truck back down. He's got 35 seconds remaining, 
We haven't seen any big wow moments now that'll rocket him into first place. Let's see if he can change that. A nice cross thread and another huge air as well. And settles it back down. 20 seconds left. Let's see what he does. He has yet to hit the back flip, and it looks like that's what he's going for. Not much time left. Hits it. Great rotation. Unable to pop it up for a moonwalk, but he's still got eight seconds remaining. Let's see what he can do. Off the step up. Huge sky wheelie. Hard landing on the rear end. And that is going to end his time. A solid run there for Lucas Oil Stabilizer. Oh, look at this huge air going off. That's how you want to go out right there after a solid run. An 8.787 for Lucas Oil Stabilizer, that will give him the lead. He definitely had the most consistent big air of the night, and the judges loved it, and it worked out well. Next up, we have b Ride the Game Guy in Bad Company. As I said earlier, a new driver to the scene. He's subbing in for Bad Company's regular driver for this event. Hasn't had a solid event so far, and he wants to change that here in freestyle, and starts off his run big there. Oh, and look out. Oh, and he hits the wall. That's going to hurt him in the point standings but luckily he didn't break nothing able to keep the truck going up over the racing lane now he's gonna have to make up for that mistake to start his run and let's see if he can over the pod now Comes back the other way off the step up nice solid air there not anywhere near the biggest we've seen off that step up but still solid keeping his run going he's got to turn it up a little bit here Ooh, gets a little sideways off the jammer, but look at that huge air. Kind of a wild landing, but able to settle the truck down and keep it going. 75 seconds left now. Oh, and look at this, an early backflip attempt. Get some nice rotation. Oh, wild landing, but pulls it down. Now he's got to get out of there. Kind of a no man's land. He's got 60 seconds remaining. A lot of time left on the clock. Went for the backflip real early. Steps on the gas and gets huge air off the step up. Solid run so far here for Bad Company. Heading over towards the bus stack now. Oh, decides to go the other way. Maybe for a cross thread here. And he will with some huge air. A solid landing, all, all things considered after that crazy takeoff and another wild takeoff here off the pod he's gonna have to put it in reverse and he's gonna keep it in reverse wow look at this 20 seconds remaining here for bad company and some nice air on the sky wheelie brings it down slaps the front end up just a bit after a slow start here bad company has really turned it up a nice cross thread here over the bus stack oh and look out he's going over on the sidewalls, can he save it? Stops on the gas and pulls out the save to end the run. Wow, and he's gonna throw it in reverse and over the racing lane. And he's gonna keep going. Bad company just having fun here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not being scored. This here is just for you fans. So we hope you enjoy as he throws it into some Cyclone Donuts to end it. And a solid score of 8.532 for b Ride the Game Guy and Bad Company. And next up is Prawn Daddy in Megalodon, our two-wheel skills winner, looking to keep that momentum going here in freestyle. We've seen a lot of solid runs. What can he do to make himself stand out? Well, he's going for some big air to start his run off. That might be some of the biggest we've seen all night and a great way to start a run as he brings it back over the pod into a slap wheelie up and over and brings it down nice combo there from megalodon and a nice start to run still 100 seconds remaining on the clock a lot of the time with some big air here doubles it up on the pod great momentum so far for megalodon this is what we want to see it's what drivers needed all night he also needs to get some more of that big air that he started with and there's some solid air into a nice little slap wheelie. Brings it back around now, going for a cross thread. Walks it in a wheelie all the way across. Look at that. Up over the pod now, gets a little bit wild. Brings the truck back down. 
60 seconds left for Megalodon and a great run so far. And the momentum has been incredible. He hasn't had the air that's reached the level of what he started the run with, but he's kept his momentum up and that's got to do him well. Now let's see if he has any wow moments with some nice cross threads here all the way. Pops it into a stoppy and brings it back down. 38 seconds remaining. Up over the racing lane he goes. Some solid air there. Oh, look at this. Into a bicycle on the sidewalls. Spins the truck around and settles it back down. The skill it took, that was absolutely impromptu up over the step up now he brings it back around the other side 10 seconds left in his run and it looks like he's going for the backflip nice rotation brings it down and puts it up into a moonwalk settles it back down and that is going to end his time one more hit for him and that's going to be it for megalodon oh look at this oh look out well, if there's any time to do it, it's after your time is up. We have a new leader, a 9.279. What a run from Megalodon. Next up is Jaden Clan in Thunder Loris. Following up an incredible run from Megalodon. Let's see what he can do. Starts off his run with some huge air. That might be even bigger than the air Megalodon got to start his run. Up over the pod now. Let's see if he can keep this going into a slap wheelie. Walks it all the way to the other side of the stadium. Great start to the run so far for Thunder Roris. Up over the racing lane now for some huge air. Jaden McClam having a great start to his run. He's got 90 seconds remaining. Let's see what he can do with it. If he can keep up this momentum, it'll be looking good. Ooh, look at this. Off the step up into a wheelie. Wild landing, but settles the truck back down. Comes back with some big air. Gets a little sideways, but able to keep it going. Thunder Wars with a good run so far. Up over the pod. Look at that air. Up over the bus stack just to keep the truck going. The momentum carried him over that time into a cross thread now. 50 seconds left, and the momentum has been great. He's had the big air with some nice solid air off the pod there. But has he had the wow moments? That's the only question. That's the only thing that might be missing from this run. But some nice air there as we've... Oh, and off goes the right front just like that. That is going to end the run for Thunder Roris. A disappointing end to an otherwise solid performance. And a score of 8.305. For Thunder Roars, you have to think it would have been a lot better had he have been able to fill the clock. Next up is Izzy Martinez and Gravedigger. Izzy looking to keep up a solid day so far. Currently your points leader. Looking to have a big performance here in freestyle with some huge air to start it off. Gravedigger has had great performances all day. And a great start to freestyle. Looks like the trend is going to be continuing. Wild, wild ride up over there. Look at this on the sidewalls. Able to pull it out for the save. Into some nice air to keep it going. To keep your momentum up after a save like that. Now into a slap wheelie. Look at that. What a combo there from Gravedigger. As I was going to say, to keep his momentum up. That was incredible. Another slap wheelie. Up over, oh, look at this. Wild landing for Gravedigger, but able to keep it going. By far the wildest run we've seen so far. Into some nice air. Hard landing on the step up at the end, but able to keep it going. Keeping this truck together so far, I don't know how. Look at that, powers it into a wheelie. Up over the pod, keeps it going. 55 seconds remaining now for Gravedigger in a solid run so far. Going over the racing lane and some huge air. We've seen a couple guys get big air off that racing lane tonight. And that was some of the biggest. 40 seconds left now off the backside of the racing lane. Huge air. The momentum has slowed a bit since that exciting start, but not by much. 
Nice distance on that takeoff over the bus stack there. Now into the backflip. Nice rotation. Pops up the rear end. Into a moonwalk. Walks it out. Little wild at the end, but able to settle the truck down. He's got 15 seconds left. Let's see what he does. Off the step up. Huge air. Brings it down into a slap wheelie. Able to stay away from the wall. Five seconds remaining. Let's see how Grave Digger ends the run with some huge air. Oh my, lands on top of the pot and brings it down. Wow, what a finish to that run for Grave Digger and keeps it going just for you fans. Huge sky wheelie. After a run like that, you can't help yourself but keep going. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is on their feet. It is crazy. And that is good enough for a 9.345 and a new leader, Izzy Martinez and Grave Digger. Burned it down here in freestyle. And now our final driver of the night, Nick Worthman and son of a digger. He's second in the points leaderboard right now. And after watching Izzy Martinez and Grave Digger come out and have such a good run, he has a chip on his shoulder. He wants to take that lead. And here he goes with some huge air. Oh, gets a little sideways on the landing. Look at this, pops it up into a stop. He walks it back into a moonwalk. Wow, what a start to the run for Son of a Digger. Now cross threads over the pod. Keeps it going. Great momentum so far into the step up. Nice smooth landing. Slight slap wheelie at the end so far. Oh, and touches the wall there. That is going to hurt him in the points. And you know he has to be angry to come back with some big air like that. Pops it up into a wheelie on one tire. Oh, gets over and back down on all four. A great save for Son of a Digger. Keeps the run going. He's got 75 seconds left, and so far he has had incredible momentum and some crazy moments. Comes back now for some big air over the racing lane. Into another wheelie. And look at this on one wheel again. Wild run so far for Son of a Digger. He's driving on the ragged edge, and you love to see it. A nice cross thread over the bus stack. Another cross thread with some big air. Settles the truck back down. It has been a wild run so far for Son of a Digger. He's just putting pedal to the metal, hitting everything as hard as he can. And some of these landings he's had, I don't know how he's keeping the truck all together. Into a backflip now. Great rotation. Pops it up. Back down and keeps it going 20 seconds remaining great run so far into the step up huge air over the step up that might be some of the biggest we've seen all night and a slap wheelie to boot throws it immediately into reverse there to avoid the wall great job there from son of a digger nick worthman with a huge huge air to finish off his run look at this wild landing keeps it going now and look out End over end goes son of a digger on his lid. <laughs> and over he goes. Had to shut the truck off at a 9.013. Not going to be good enough for the lead. Only good enough for third place. But an incredible run nonetheless there for son of a digger. And here are the results after a great freestyle competition. Your winner, Izzy Martinez and Grave Digger with a 9.345. Followed up by Megalodon with a 9.279, Son of a Digger with a 9.013, Lucas Oil Stabilizer with an 8.787, Avenger with an 8.643, Bad Company with an 8.532, Dragon with an 8.521, and Thunder Roars rounds it out with an 8.305. And here are our points after stop one here on Stadium Tour Blue. Grave Digger in the lead with 22, followed up by Son of a Digger with 19, Megalodon with 18, Avenger with 13, Stabilizer with 13, Thunder Roarsal with 12, Dragon with 6, and Bad Company with 5. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here at HKTV. We were so glad to have you here in Anaheim for stop number one on Stadium Tour Blue. It was an exciting competition starting in racing with Son of a Digger picking up the victory, moving on to skills, the win going to Megalodon, and a crazy freestyle by Gravedigger to take the final competition. We hope you enjoyed yourself, and we hope you come back next time on stop number two when we hit Petco Park in San Diego, California. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. 
We'll see you next time.